Okay, uh, I'm going to show us how to solve up to an 80 smart score for DD1 on scale factor. All right, I'm going to use the on screen pencil to help me. So in these questions, they're going to ask us, what is the scale factor? In order to find the scale factor, you have to be building a fraction. So it doesn't matter which numbers you use. Okay, you can use the 42 and the 14, or you can use the 27 and the 9. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to build this by putting 42 over 14. It is always the new image, because he's the copied, over the original image. So when I build that fraction, this is the new dimension. O represents the size for the old image. Okay, that's important not necessarily big over small it's just always this picture over the left hand side so if you type in 42 out of 14 they'll actually accept it that way but you might see that this can be simplified and actually 14 goes into 42 evenly and your scale factor is going to be an even three let's keep going Again, what is the scale factor? Okay, so pick two sides, doesn't matter which one. The 28 goes on top because this is the new image. He's the copy of the green. He is the old, so it's always new over the old. Okay. All right, so as I said, you actually could type this in and they will mark it correct, but I see that I can simplify because I know that 7 goes into 28 and 7 goes into 35. So my scale factor is 4 fifths. Okay, so at some point your questions are going to change where they become two steps. They want us to find the value of u. In order to find the value of u, we still have to find that scale factor. So let's do that. I'm going to take the 2 and I'm going to take the 8, build the fraction, 2 eighths. That simplifies to how much? 1 fourth. So now if I need to find u, I need to do 32 times a fourth. I'm finding a fourth of 32. So we can use our calculator. I'm going to pull mine up on my screen. And I'm typing in 32 times 0.25. And that's going to equal 8. So check that with your calculator and you would get 8 for the value of u. Okay, same style question. Find the scale factor. 25 over 20. That simplifies to 5 over 4. And if I need to find the value of h, I'm going to do that 5 fourths times 28. Okay, so we want to use that calculator on questions like this. So do 5 divided by 4. That equals 1.25. And then multiply that by the 28. And this equals 35. So the value of h is 35. Okay, questions are going to change again at some point, And here it goes, it changes. This is very easy. If it's asking you about the angles, um, the angles in a scaled drawing do not change. So if this side is 120, this side is 120. Done. L factor takes trapezoid D to trapezoid E. All right, just a scale factor, 6 over 5. There's your scale factor, 6 over 5. All right, gets harder, starts asking me for some fractions. That's okay. Make that a decimal. 5 and a half is 5.5. Divide it by 5. Okay, so I built my fraction. So let's do that in our calc. 5.5 times 5, that equals 1.1. Okay, but I need to find u. So I'm going to take that 1.1 and I'm going to multiply it by 2.5. You have to know that 2.5 is 
Okay, multiply. And final answer is going to be 2.75. So notice, every time the sublock is solving these, I am using, well, I'm using my screen, but I have to write the problem out. If you're not using a whiteboard or you're not trying to solve these by, by using some scratch paper, you're not going to do so great. Let's try another one. Build the fraction. I'm just picking two, two sides. It doesn't matter which one. 2.6 divided by 2. 2.6 divided by 2. Scale factor equals 1.3. Oop, I got to find R. So I'm going to do 5 times 1.3. 5 times 1.3. I got 6.5. I'm taking you through some of these harder ones. It's the same exact step. It's just more work. What is the value of Z? Easy peasy. Z is also 105. The angle measures do not change in scale factor. What is the value of Z? I'm at my 70. I'm almost there. Scale factor is 6 over 5. So I'm going to do 6 over 5 times 30. When I type in 6 over 5 in my calc, that's 1.2. So I'm going to do 1.2 times 30 in my calculator. You absolutely can do fractional, you know, you can multiply your fractions if you want. I'm just avoiding that. So, but you certainly can. 36. Almost there. Q. Q is 75 degrees. Almost there. I'm looking for a scale factor. Scale factor is 5.04 divided by 2.8. I'm going to put that into my calculator to see if that can be simplified. And it equals 1.8. Done. That should get me to my 80, and it does. Keep going if you want those bonus points. These are absolutely doable. There are a couple of them have multi-step, use the calculator to help you, and use a whiteboard or pencil and paper.